Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I am Lorianne, your psychic medium, uh, intuitive guidance counselor, here to give you all the messages that I receive for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aquarius. And we are looking at love. It is all about love. And for those of you who are new and you don't know me, welcome, and I hope you enjoy the reading. I am, I hear it, I see it, I feel it, I know it. I use the tarot in the latter part of the reading to, uh, so that you can see it through the cards, but in the beginning of the reading is all about the messages when I meditate to ask about aquas. And this is what I am being shown for, and I'm a fellow Aquarian, so it's really kind of cool. You know, for the 4th of July or any of the um, fireworks, there's that fountain where it's the bigger one where those little things shoot out of it, right? So this is a fountain of abundance is what I'm seeing. There are stars, there's shooting stars, there's flames, there's all of these things coming out, but there's equally dollar signs, there's hearts, there's Cupid's bow, and there's Cupid. <laughs> it's really adorable. So it's like the fountain of abundance is being lit and ignited for you, Aquarius. I, I really like it. Some of you might be getting ready, just, you're just feeling on top of the world. Maybe your energy is back and you're snapping right out there, filled with this radiance as we can really help the world. We all have that ability as Aquarians. It's amazing. It's just zoom, zoom. Imagine if you will, woof, 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 woof. fireworks going everywhere, sparks, arrows of love, hearts. And let me pull a message that goes with that. So this is about discipline. Okay. Now, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Some of you, this is all about you using discipline this week to overcome a hurdle or to accomplish and I feel gain something. By being focused on the mm, seeing through the problem to the solution, to the outcome. It isn't fake it till you make it. This is going, okay, here's where I'm at. This is the money that I have coming in. This is the love life that I have. This is where I need to be, okay? Focusing on how to get there. It's going to fall into place. Okay, I need an extra $100. What do I know how to do, right? Same thing with your love life. Focusing through whatever you've been through in your life is going to lead you to meeting somebody new, a breakthrough in you, but whatever it is, it's releasing joy and celebration inside of you, outside of you. This is internal. This is external. It's like huge accomplishment this week. Yeah, it's beautiful. So let me pull some tarot. Now, discipline, this can be in any avenue, but for you guys, we are looking at love. Some of you may have been very focused on your career, on rebuilding you, your life, whatever it may be, and not focused on your uh, uh, love life. And I feel for a lot of you, that's what you've been doing most definitely. Where, um, and you got the death card where you've been going through a transformation, literally the discipline to put things into perspective in your life so that you can create the love life that you want. Now, what we have is the death card can be Scorpio. Okay. You could be dealing with one or have it in your chart. But the death card is about an ending. Whatever you've been working at, you have accomplished what you needed to learn from that situation, that person, that experience. So you've ended it. Whether you walked away, they walked away, this could be a job, this could be anything. For a lot of you, I feel this is you really letting go of blockages, of things that were really holding you back, especially when it comes to love. And I say that because we do have the Queen of Swords. So this is you regaining a sense of personal power, authenticity, and not wearing any mask, not that you necessarily did, but there was a part of you that you may have kind of hid, right? So you could have been you, but I'm only going to show you 
four out of 27 compartments of who I am, <laughs> right? Being blocked to open up, to be vulnerable because of what you've been through, because of the endings, because of the damage in the past. This can be very rough, but it was a massive transformation in you. And I feel you've really overcome a lot. So when I'm seeing this, yay, Eureka, this is you disciplining yourself to accomplish the abundance. And abundance includes love. Queen of Swords is somebody who's been through everything. This is us, awesome, man. This is us, right? Everything. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Lied to, cheated on, hurt, stabbed in the back by best friends, family members, your own children. And these blockages really caused a lot of deep, deep pain. And that's why it was a lot of discipline to overcome this because of the intensity I feel that you went through in your life. But overcoming these blockages is huge. At this, oh my gosh, transformation opening up now i'm open because now you are coming into your true self speaking from heart speaking from logic using discernment when you make decisions and when you show yourself right my youngest son he's beautiful and when he was little he used to always give way too much information <laughs> <laughs> he would go to the grocery teller and say, yeah, my mom's going to do this and da, 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 and go on for like 10 minutes and, they, and they're going, uh-huh, 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 because you just go on and on. So uni using discernment on how much information you give people to, as a, per a method of protection, it has to do with trust. You know, the Queen of Swords is you really getting it on, man. That's you feeling absolutely 100% empowered. Yeah, ready to get out there and start this family life. The Ten of Cups. And you could have been uh, through a very traumatic, painful childhood for some of you. The transformation may have been about that. It may have been about going through divorces on your own. And one sec ending the relationship right so that you can start something new and this was a family unit for some of you walking away from the type of relationships that you used to be involved with the way you view them like when you're sitting with somebody having coffee how you are interact in that is vitally important as they interacting I have no idea why I said that. <laughs> now we also have the four of wands. So with this, the blockage, you are coming to this place of being centered and grounded. Some of you, this is you stepping out. You're balanced and you're ready to step forward and be your authentic self. And I feel it's in a public forum where you're going to really start a new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles. This is bringing in the love, baby. This is this is even bigger fountain than the one that I saw. Oh gosh, you guys, this is incredibly wonderful. Um, now, if you are married, what I'm seeing for you is a transformation in the relationship where there's something truthful going to come out that was creating a blockage between you and your partner. You and your family dynamic, you may have even been physically separated from each other. But I see it coming back together and starting in a new sector. I'm hearing sector, but they're showing me a path. Same thing, different verbiage, basically. It's a new chapter of your life, a new direction in your life that you're getting ready to start on. That's going to bring you to a place where you feel really good about you. And yeah, that fountain's going to be shooting off. This is a brand new relationship for some of you. This is you stepping out and really speaking your truth. Nothing 
is it uh uh you are 100% you and people are going to like you just the way you are the ace of pentacles a brand new beginning some of you are meeting a capricorn virgo or a taurus and by you being your own true self this person's really going to like you this is what they want with you oh my god this is what they want i want a new beginning with you because i think i can the four pentacles i mean four of wands i can have a solid relationship with you that can lead to marriage that we can have a home life right so this person that you're getting ready to bring into you again is you're just walking away it's like poof, whatever you've been through this week from the time you view this video you are going to release this and i don't care what time of year it is they are saying for this group of you if this reading resonates you are literally transforming into this new uh, relationship, but mostly the way you think about it. And that's what's going to draw this life option into you. A person who's very grounded, and they may be a business owner for some of you. You could also be as well. Definitely see government attached to this individual. So uh, this they could work in the government sector. or You'll know how that resonates with you. Very much a, a person of power that's coming in. But boy, they have no match for you, Aquarius. You got it going on. You are empowered. Meaning you are not coming from a place of ego. No, no, no. You know who you are. You don't need to offer advice you know how people go oh you should do this and this we don't do that when we're empowered we don't have to say you should do this this is you holding your own keeping your own identity when you meet this individual or when you and your partner come back around again because this is a brand new uh, way a brand new direction right and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. We couldn't end this reading with any better cards than this. So I love this reading. Let's pull a romance angel card for you. If you like me, you like my style, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell. You'll, you'll be notified when I upload a video. And if, you're, if you've been watching me, there was a change in YouTube, so you would need to unsubscribe and resubscribe. And then you'll see me running through your feed again. So let's pull a romance angel card for you guys. Now we have heart to heart conversation and that's all about you being in your true authentic self, which like I said, you may have, and I don't see that you were necessarily lying. You just weren't very open and sharing everything and that's okay. And for another group of you, you were overly open and sharing, but this is about being in balance and having a heart to heart conversation with your partner, with authenticity and great discipline, you'll revive that relationship into something new. And those of you where this is you meeting somebody new, this could be the person that you've been waiting for, like literally the relationship that keeps you in check with who you are. You, you never want to fix them. You, you're 100% in a high vibration in this relationship. So I hope you have an amazing week. Thank you for watching and much love.